What was the scandal at your high school? The girl who said her boyfriend knocked her up and got the whole school, kinda small town, to support her for being a teen mom. Only for my yearbook staff and I to expose her pregnancy as fake after she gave birth to her baby girl. We were skeptical. Because she was real thin most of the pregnancy, until she had to leave school and go on bed rest, and her ex BF swore he didn't have sex with her. So. One day. We reverse google image searched her baby picture and it belonged to a premature baby boy from 3 years ago that some mom posted on her blog. This girl went even as far to somehow stage pictures in a hospital or a place that looked like a hospital. Holding a fake pink bundle of nothing. Once word spread that her pregnancy was fake. She freaked out and created fake Facebook profiles of her parents and started using those accounts to harass everyone that was coming at her. She eventually pulled out of school and disappeared forever. For the next two years everyone kept speculating where she went. If I remember correctly. People searched around for her online BC she was a model in high school and found she moved to the next state over. But by then. Everyone didn't care. A 15 year old girl from my secondary school said a 33 year old teacher tried to have sex with her. There was a lot of gossip around the school that she had made it up for attention. The teacher lost his job. But he was found innocent. As the jury decided the girl was lying. She lost a lot of friends. School wouldn't have been easy for a while. That was about 7 years ago. The teacher then moved to Spain. A few months ago. He was found guilty of sexually abusing a 14 year old in the new school he taught at. My heart sank when I realized the girl from my school had been telling the truth all along. And no one had believed her. 70 people got arrested on senior skit day. Most of them for underage drinking or DUIs. But one of the lacrosse players who was supposed to go to a D1 school the next year got busted with coke and got legit jail time. There were several scandals that happened when I was in school. But I'll list some of the worst. Two students got caught having sex in between the vending machines. A fight broke out and this kid picked up one of the English teachers. Who was a really small guy, around 5 feet to or so, and threw him down the stairwell as hard as possible. From what I heard. At least one ankle completely shattered and he had multiple broken ribs. Among other injuries. My senior year government teacher had sex with a student in exchange for not failing her. A guy from my high school couldn't find a prom date and got rejected multiple times so he sent out a mass email to over a hundred porn stars and asked them to prom. Two of them said yes. The school district had to have a meeting and eventually a court case on whether or not it was alright to have a porn star at a high school prom. They eventually told the guy no and he responded by throwing his own prom. What's funny is that Pornhub actually sponsored the event and paid for the porn star to fly to the area where he lived. Edit, a couple of you are asking for an article but the only ones I can find have the guy's name in it so I'm hesitant to post it. I believe someone posted it in the comments though. Two guys on the baseball team made a group porno with their girlfriends. Posted it on the school's central media server. And streamed it to a classroom for the team to watch. That. Or the chemistry teacher who is now in federal prison on child porn charges from leaving a camera secretly on in the hockey team locker room after performing chaplain duties for them. Senior year 2007. A student lured a man into his garage. Stabbed him repeatedly. Slit his throat. Cut off his head. Burned the fingers with a torch. Dumped the head in a river. Dumped the body in a field. And set it on fire. He is obviously serving a life sentence. Don't believe me? Google Jean-Pierre all you ex. The one teen Mormon who preached abstinence only education got pregnant. Black kid was on the basketball team and wanted to transfer to another school. This was his second school and would have to sit out a year before he could play. So he tried to get out of it with a hardship exemption. Basically that means he had to prove that it was unsafe to be at our school. Since my high school was mostly white. He tried to play the race card. He graffitied the school and wrote death threats saying black people must die. He listed some people's names on the wall. Including his to make him seem innocent. 
it made national news and he was found guilty. There was a kid at our rival high school arrested for having sex with a horse. It was on the sidebar of the front page of the local paper. The paper didn't publish his name, obviously. But people figured it out pretty quickly. We played each other in football a couple of weeks later. Everyone had signs. Beat. School. Do it for Mr. Ed. Etc. Dart. A girl supposedly got pregnant and was expelled back in 9th grade. Mind you. I went to a private Catholic school. But she complained that it wasn't fair she was the only one getting expelled when she wasn't the only one to make the baby. So she got the supposed baby daddy kicked out too. Local ice cream shop owned by a couple. Everyone loved them. This place was the cool place to hang as a teenager. Turns out the male owner was having an affair with my classmate. She was barely 16 and an employee of his. He gave her a private cell phone so only he could talk with her. This went on for months. Her parents found out. His wife found out. The wife yanked the money for the business in the divorce so the place closed down. And I think he was charged with statutory grape. Worst part was a lot of the kids blamed the girl for the ice cream going out of business. They slut shamed her pretty bad but she ended up graduating on time. Somebody made a human sized hole in a wall during a fight. Cool kids had a party at one of their parents lake houses. Police come and arrest everybody who wasn't smart enough to run into the woods. Despite having arrested 20 kids with Drew Gus and alcohol, only 16 get charged with anything. The 4 who didn't get charged were the only 4 kids on the baseball team that was super deep into the state playoffs that year. What a coincidence. My family along with many others were super pissed. Eventually they had a town hall with the mayor and city council. And the 4 kids ended up getting suspended and couldn't play but they still never got put on probation like everyone else. My senior year, they spent a crazy amount of time trying to figure out who put a live ducking cow on the roof of one of the buildings. Amaze the stupid cow didn't just walk off the side. Cows have a hard time going down slopes in general so a slope of 90 degrees would be impossible to walk off for the cow. About an eighth of my junior class plagiarized pretty big research paper in AP English and all failed the semester. I experienced something similar. Our group of friends somehow got answers to a test, math. They all copied it exactly number for number. I purposely made a few mistake. Of the friends. I was the only one that passed that test. Student pro tip, if you ever get the answers to a test, do not mark every question with the correct answer. Miss a few on purpose. Take the 92 instead of the 100. I went to a school of about 1400. So each class size was about 400, though it went down by senior year a bit. My senior year. 9 freshman girls got pregnant. The school paper did a whole series on it. We counted one night, from 8th grade to graduation. We had a total of 26 pregnancies, including miscarriages, abortions, and actual births, from a class that graduated an even 100 people. Two girls had three kids each. So that skewed the numbers some. But it still worked out to 1 in 5 people had either been pregnant or caused a pregnancy. A Spanish teacher locked two bio teachers in a closet with the intent to leave them there over spring break. Edit, I mean winter break. I'm tired. 7 pregnancies in one year in one grade. 4 from the same dude. Girl wrote a messed up story about Empress Theodora of Byzantine being raped by Caesar and succumbing to the Black Death and submitted it as a history essay. And it was hung on the wall. On the night of several open houses. A German teacher was apparently a former glamour model and had nude pictures out there. She was gone within the week of it being discovered. My sophomore English teacher was arrested at the end of my senior year for 26 counts of statutory grape against some of the girls in my class. The whole community was in shock that he would do such a thing because he was always so nice to everybody. Early in February of this year my old principal and superintendent were both arrested and convicted for covering this whole thing up for nearly 4 years. The vice principal attacked someone in a restaurant. He was arrested and made bail. 
I remember we had an assembly where they basically told us to shut up about what happened. A father of a student drunkenly decided to drive a truck through the front doors and then shoot as many as he could. If he had walked in. He could have killed a few people, however. When he slammed through the doors he suffered from the crash and the door frames had wrapped around the truck doors. Recently the basketball coach resigned because he decided to inappropriately snapchat a minor. This happened after high school. But I think you'll find it interesting. A girl that I went to high school with murdered her dad. She shot him in the head with a shotgun while he slept. Put his body in a plastic storage bin. And hid it in the shed. For the next few months he lived in his house off of his money and invited several friends to move in and pay rent. Said her dad moved and left her the house. She had locked the shed and told no one to go in there. But eventually someone did. Someone brought a stray cat to class one day after recess and wouldn't take it back outside because it was floofy. It was me. I was homeschooled. During my junior year in high school, many years ago, the affair between the high school principal, male, and an 11th grade English teacher, female. How did we find out? The husband showed up at school looking for our principal. Someone tipped him off and was off campus when he got there. It was just after I had joined, someone had their 16th birthday at the school, why? His mum thought it would be funny to surprise him with a gorillagram. Thinking it was a man in a gorilla suit. It was not. Stripper comes in. Starts doing her bit. Puts a lead on the boy and covers himself and her with whipped cream. This goes on for about 5 minutes before a present staff member, actually one of my teachers, puts a stop to this. It made the news. Is one of only 3 articles on my school's wiki page, the other two are both about the school burning down, twice, and kinda set up what sort of school this was. TLER, stripper at my school. Oh man. Finally I can tell about my school. It's a boarding school. And like most boarding schools in the US it's not amazing. We've had a lot of things go wrong. Some bigger some smaller. But here goes with a few I guess. In chronological order. The first one would be when the admissions guy was screwing a 16 year old guy at school. We all knew for months. And the school actually warned the guy like 3 times before really getting him in trouble. By trouble. I mean just making him leave. Looking back they should have handled the situation completely differently. Another time. There was a kid who everyone knew had some severe mental challenges, let's call him Kid A. He was pretty weird. But never rude so everyone treated him as equal and tried to be nice to him. Everyone besides his roommate, Kid B. One day in my English class, Kid A told us about how the night before his roommate had made him jerk him off. And he was really stressed out about it and scared. He didn't say too much because words were kinda tough for him sometimes when he's worked up. But the general idea was he really did not like it. The higher ups at the school found out. And they just kind of swept it under the rug. There's more if anyone wants. But those are the two that really pop out at me. I have a few from different times. An 18 or 19 year old guy was dating a guy 17 year old girl. He was from a notoriously bad family. The kind of people that will get spun out on crank and beat someone up for walking around. They got into a feud with another girl's dad. And one day. They guy and his gf chased him down. Dragged him out of his car. And shot him. The nearest city's paper quoted the juvenile saying yes. We shot him. I did it. They got off completely. Claiming self defense. Even though they chased him down. Another, a girl who graduated a couple of years before me was working as a teacher there. She had an affair with a student. Got caught. And quit. Because no charges were filed. She applied again a couple years later. And they ducking hired her back. She had even continued her relationship with the student for a few years. More recently, a guy I graduated with, I'm 30. For reference and this was 2 years ago, became a coach. He had an affair with a 14 year old student. And got caught with her. He then left his wife, and mother of his children, to be with a high school student. 
He resigned from the school. And they've left the area. Small town people are so ducking weird. About 50% of the junior class and a few of the seniors got involved with this gossip post on Instagram where you could talk shit about other people without saying their name. The school flipped sheet and made everyone go to reflection sessions. My senior year a bunch of popular kids went away to a business conference and got caught with pot. Quite a few people were expelled and quite a few people lost their scholarships and school acceptances. A male student made a fake, female, Facebook, Tinder, etc. He then tricked other male students into sending dick pics or other incriminating pictures or info. Once he thought he had enough blackmail against someone he would leave a rigid for sexual sheet from them. It still baffles me that it worked on anyone. Let alone upwards of 5 people. If someone said blow me or I'll show the world your big dick. I hope they pick the most flattering picture I said lol. In 6th grade. My assistant principal had a sexual relationship with an 8th grader. She was caught by the kid's mom finding sexual texts from the assistant principal on his phone. News stations were at our school a few days after she was caught. No one knew what was going on until the news came on later that day. 